Because, I mean, it's a gate. But I'm sure people will want to visit it. Feels like we're starting to run a little low on space over here. Wonder Island? Um... Hmm. Well... Okay, do we have the means to go back and forth? Landing. Allows citizens and tourists to get into boats. People traveling on boats can dock at landings. And then there's Teamster Port. So, presumably, we could. We could start a Wonder Island. We could put it over here. Okay, do we have enough room for that? Actually, that would look kind of cool. Right, put Brandenburg Gate here. We'll leave enough room. Can a road fit on the side here? Yeah, okay, I think that'll be fine. Actually, let me build the road to make sure that we don't block it so people can get around. We're going to put you here. Put a landing thusly. And I guess we need another one on the other side. I guess that reaches. Or too short. No, but... is that? You can build a bridge with the road? Oh, I love it! The helicopter just drops in some stuff. Um. Oh, yeah. The landings are kind of cool here. And there's not a good place to start a bridge from the other side unless I build some stuff. We at Uno know that the Tropicans were desperate for construction of an 18th century style neoclassical monument. Well, the wait is finally over. Brandenburg Gate. There's an entry fee. It says construction people are assigned to this. So presumably the construction people will get into their boats and get over there. We will see how this works. Okay. So, we have some more money. I still want to do the Alliance Superpower. We need another Teamster's office, police station. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to build up military so that we can get to the next level. Um, like some barracks. Right here by the beach. So, we have an army base and a barracks over here. Yeah, sure, we'll go more negative money. Watchtower. Engages enemy squads during military conflicts. Chance to discover hidden roles of passers-by. Yeah, so we can find out, like, um... Like, rebel sympathizers and things like that, or secret rebels. So we'll put it here, because there's probably going to be a lot of people walking around over here. Decreases liberty. Liberty schmimberty. Defend the rum, yeah. All right. And then I don't know if that's going to be possible and good enough, but I think at that point we'll declare our allegiance to the allies. And I think we'll get attacked. I'm still not 100% sure this is going to work here. We'll see. It's funny, I went to high priority and then, like, people stopped building here. A few opportunities came up. Nothing Vincent illegal. Talk. Well, as an option to active be demands, demands to allowing you to successfully complete them. Oh, so we can instant complete one of these. Uh huh. Allowing you to rescind it. Stimulate trade. Stimulate trade. No, that's fine. I was to build the theater. No raids in progress. So I don't know if it actually went. Um, how's our employment situation? We have three unemployed and six vacant jobs. Okay, that's not bad. We probably still want more people. I think I'll raid for some educated. And then we'll see what happens after that. So that's done. We're waiting for these little towers to be finished. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want the choice in how they are ruled. I have 100% so support of my population. Of course we're gonna deliver a speech. Speeches are the best. Um, yes, there are problems. There have always been problems. But uh, something about the uh, global economy. Like, the staples of the, the Tropical Four speeches. Um, so people don't feel safe. And I'm, I got a mission to build a police station. So I will promise them. Safety happiness does not contribute to the approval of voters for the election. Really? Oh, I see! They won't care about the safety. 
and then we'll praise uh, we'll praise the religious, and we will blame the Axis for all of our problems, and um, we'll promise to improve safety happiness. So people who are upset about safety won't not vote for me, but might in fact vote for me or something. I don't know. Whatever. My tropicans, my people, my children. Your prosperity is my honor. Your solidarity is my faith. And I gracefully accept your love. You are my tropical. Behold the landmark I built with my bare hands. A shining example of Tropico's ingenuity. My fingers now throb with the blisters of progress, soothed by the ointment of victory. Know this, my people. I have nothing but oh, the crowd is building criminals, especially the type that get caught. When I heavily arm the police force, you will no longer fear the lawbreakers. As we strive, God shall not forsake our beautiful shores. Our spiritual friends guarantee this, for which we owe them one, in this life and the next. I'm the biggest crowd Just ever, huge crowd, record friends, crowds, you're right. So we condemn our enemies. The Axis wishes to remake the world over my mildly unsettled body. There are those who complain that criminals rule our streets. Bah! I will show you real policing. You'll be as safe as a tortoise in its shell, which is also a delicacy <laughs> here in Tropico. It is you, my friends. Who I thank for making me what I am. So 100% of Tropicans will vote for me. I am proud to be your <laughs> president. Those are the sort of election results Viva I like. Tropico. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we got a little bit of cash, not much, but some. Um, how's the employment? Only three unemployed. Still need a little bit more. How do we get to the Constitution? Right there. Yeah, we need the labor research, which is still being worked on now. It's nearly done. It will make the religious people happy. Build the commando. I mean, that's going to cost us money. I was actually mostly looking to build more mines. Oh, let's go back up to times two here. You cannot go all the way up to times four. Oh, I think times two will be fine. At the very least, 110% of the votes are for El Presidente. You need a team's report to move some goods. What about the construction, though? I guess I could just quick build this. Let's do that. There you go. So now people should be able to visit Brandenburg Gate. Probably not the best way to do things, but that's fine. Um, so what I want here is I want some more mining. Iron mines over here. I'm going to build two. I'll get a Teamster's office over here as well. To satisfy the quest and also... So that we can move the goods from here. I'm trying to not build too close to the lumber areas. We'll do that. We'll get a little bit of housing over here. Some apartments. Maybe a bunkhouse. Okay. Done. Raid complete. Rescue. Excellent. It doesn't tell us the exact results of what the raid did for us, unfortunately. At 2,000 points again. I think I'm going to wait until we can raid some more things. Can I heist Brandenburg Gate again? Like, is that possible? Does that make sense? I mean, no, it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe the Germans will have rebuilt it. Maybe it turns out we only got a fake the first time. Uh, is there a road missing by that port? Um, it's not complaining about not being connected to anything. So, I don't think 
that's actually being an issue. Like, because you actually get a little marker. Oh, there, we just had a boat arrive. There, there you go. People are walking from here to the road to visit Brandenburg Gate. Lovely. So we got some iron. We may need some, like, some factories or, like, some way to process the iron or something like that. More industrial stuff. Mostly we have to wait for people for that. How's the high school? We've got plenty of students. That's nice to see. We've got a lot of little wiggling things. Oh, we don't have any uh, trade yeah, routes going on right now. Whiskey and chocolate. Uh, whiskey and chocolate. Hey! Oh, we can export nickel. We're not doing nickel. It's Quivering Cactus! Who's bribing El Presidente? All bribes are very well appreciated. Um, oh, we can export rum. Yes, let's do that. 10% above. Sounds great. I could make a good Tony the Tiger. Any upgrades over here? Oh yeah, we got a really big telescope already. We'll want the commando thing as well soon. It's Quivering Cactus who says, can't have alcohol right now. Oh, while I figure out some oh, GI issues. Dang, this money was budget for alcohol, so it may as well go to someone who's provided me with tons of entertainment and can drink. Can I ever? <laughs> Thank you very much, Quivering Cactus. I'm feeling really dumb that we didn't get some uh, some little Caribbean rum or something like that um, to pair up with our, our tropical stream here. It's a damn shame that I didn't consider everything. Uh, Labor Our Party finished researching. Thank we you. Rejoice in your support, President. Teamsters office done. Constitution. Yes. Happy childhood. Which is apparently the default state. Um, the government of Tropico shall have power to limit, regulate, and prohibit the labor of persons under 18 years of age, notwithstanding wholesome employments such as delivery of newspapers, the painting of fences, the manufacture and sale of lemonade, mowing of lawns and fields, and general scallywaggery. So we can do that. We can have people start working at 12 and then never retire. <laughs> or allow early retirement. Yeah, happy childhood is fine. I like it. And so do the religious folks. I have to, like, apply the change somewhere, right? Yeah, confirm change. Weird that it's not available on A the good main screen. Deed, Presidente. There you go. Give me money. That's all I want. Money, 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 money. Now, I don't think I ever enacted a few things. Um, like the building permit and whatnot. I don't know. Penal colony? Right. Increased immigration. Chance of each immigrant being a criminal is increased by 300%. We'll receive a monthly payment. You know what? What's a few criminals? Tropical. Done. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, building permit. Oh yeah, we still have to research the building permit tech. Literacy programs. We might want military police if we're we're letting these people in here, though. Um, so let's build a police station. Elections in ten months. What category is police under? I mean, I would have thought. Oh, maybe government. Yeah, police station. And I guess we'll want a prison as well. Wow, that's a lot of crime. For some reason, there's a lot of extra crime around the um, the palace. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that we're corrupt. Um, just just for whatever, we'll go and put the police station right next to the palace. I'm sure this is totally fine. We don't have an immigration office. Let's get that going on. Usually, I like putting that near the uh, the front, but this is going to be okay. Da, 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 da. I promise safety, but we're letting in more criminals. For cash program. Report something suspicious oh, all today, my military buildings got finished, so you know what, it's time. Let's go and declare... Oh, Alliance. There it is. Alliance. Need your help, Presidente. It's all gone pear-shaped, and we need a steady hand on the tiller. Well, it turns out you're the best president for the job. The profiling boys love you. Something about moral flexibility. No pressure except the usual threat of bombing. Toodle pip. Finish rescue four. Have pirate cove. Oh, we have to do a bunch of rescues. Okay. Axis ultimatum. I suppose I must respect your bravery. Or is it stupidity? Do you realize that you are disobeying the greatest nation in the world? I do not respect stupidity. So accede to my demands immediately. I need not lower myself to threats, as you have no choice in this matter. Do what I say. Um... So, okay, fulfill an import. Import! With them. Or they'll get cranky. But we also get a reward. So over here we need to do some more rescues. Sounds fine to me. There. I don't know. Rescue in. Shift click. There you go. You're in a repeat queue. Just keep grabbing people. It's gonna be fine. Um, so... 
they really we would prefer that we did an import of Axis goods. Do they have any available? We could import cigars. 0% above standard. Oh, we don't have a trade license for it. So we'd have to finish these. Oh, we're working on it. Okay. But uh, presumably if we don't finish it, maybe they'll just attack. And you know what? That's fine. We got defenses. We can take on the Axis, the whole of the Axis. The Tropican people are the greatest people in the entire world. Uh, let's get a canary. So left fire. Roasting chamber increases efficiency and pollution. Yeah, what's a little pollution? Never hurt anyone. Except maybe the canary. Tree nursery? Yeah, let's get that to regrow the trees faster. So that we can keep chopping down trees more efficiently. Dun dun dun. Rebel threat decreased to none. You're goddamn right. Let's get some buses. So I'm assuming the buses transmit or transfer people between the two stations. It says stops. Maybe after it's built we can do something? I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, shellfish trade route is taking a long time, and it's because a lot of it is getting eaten. I could just stop all stuff from the fishing place from being consumed. What I'll probably do, though, is we'll probably just get some extra fishermen's wharves. You know? I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, hey, many times. Vote early, vote, vote often. But can we trust the citizens to vote correctly? I wouldn't want them to wake up on the day after the election in a state of confused regret. Perhaps we should help them for their own good. Well, considering 100% of people support me, um, I think we're going to allow the citizens to vote freely. Again, it's an open election, so if anyone doesn't vote for me, I'll know. And then things might happen. More of this housing. We got a few shacks in a few different places. It's probably worth. Now the, the housing doesn't actually have to be right up against the road. People walk to the road and then things happen. So we can do something like this, you know, stuff some extra housing in there. That's gonna be fine. Any upgrades we can do with the barracks? Motorized infantry. Ooh, use trucks. Let's do it. Any upgrades we can do to the watchtowers? Real machine guns! As opposed to... It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate from Ben. Hey, Ben. All right. Since we've gone into negative cash here, uh, we got another contribution to our Swiss bank account. Who dat? Um, I'm having some Aberlure 12-year-old single malt tonight. I don't know if I've ever had Aberlure. I can't share, so here's something for your fun. Have a good day slash evening. It's evening here in the UK. Well, thank you very much, Ben. I hope you're enjoying uh, what sounds like a very Loyal lovely Benatribo drink. Is speechless. Um, the election is, is a landslide. Like oh, there's a fire. The metaphorical kind, not the... Fire is raging. Yeah, we don't have a fire department. Um, there's a fire over here. So... Okay, fire department's not in this category. Fire station is here. We don't have any money. Because someone keeps spending it. I, I don't know. Oh, it's just burning down a shack. I know you always keep your promises, but the citizens today can be very exacting about what counts as a fulfilled promise. So, they want a safety rating of at least 38 to be considered having fulfilling fulfilled our, our promise. All right. This should be fine. But yeah, we have no fire trucks, so hopefully that just burns down. Can we just bulldoze this building? Mm. Uh, I wonder if it spreads. I'm a little concerned. El Presidente's landslide victory, an official statement reveals that the opposition is retiring and might not be seen for a while. <laughs> Will's broke. I'm always broke, but there you go. Oh, fire stopped. See? The fire was too intimidated by... El Presidente's undiluted machismo and uh, just decided to go away. That's all. Done. So we're doing our rescues, right? We got more whiskey and chocolate. It's from Bob, who says Tropico is on fire. 
No, man, Trapco is just lit, yo. I'm down with the kids and know the lingo. Presidente, there is a flaw in our military machine. We do not have enough of the things that I want. Militarist underscore demand, everyone. Uh, apparently, what militarists want is another Teamster's office. I think they need to spread out their types of demands a little bit and maybe make them more thematic to whatever. That's okay, we'll get a Teamster's office over here. There's lots of goods to, to move around. <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> well, you don't like that? Hey, you guys behave or next next thing you know, I'll start dabbing or something. I think that's still like relevant, right? It's totally, totally topical. Another slot, we'll now, buy over here. I don't want to alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on the... <laughs> I wonder, okay, convincing talk adds an option to active demands. So if I spend 250, of this, and then go to the Axis trade route. Ah, uh, okay. So I can't use it on this one because it's special. Do not worry, <gasps> An earthquake! These tremors surely do not herald a big quake, unless you say it is okay. However, I have heard that natural disaster is not as loyal as Penultimo, and perhaps you ought to plan some contingencies. The most expensive option is to strengthen all the buildings. Alternatively, an earthquake shelter can help citizens survive a collapsing building. Alternatively, seismologists are a very cost-effective way of seeming to have cared. <laughs> Deploy seismologists to take ineffectual readings, gimme shelter, or rock steady. What do we want? What I want is some more soda. Little Coke Zero. Yeah, I know I still have the theater quest. But that costs money, man. And I, I have 100% of the votes, so it's not like I need to make people that much happier. People want Rocksteady? What about Bebop? Bebop never gets the same love as Rocksteady. Rocksteady like you're ruling. All right, I like it. Done. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to strengthen all buildings. There's no cost to it. It didn't lead to another mission. Not entirely sure exactly what that means. So, oh, here's another earthquake. So our fertility keeps dropping. How do we, how do we fix this? I mean, I guess with mo if we switch away from monoculture. So maybe we should do that. Well, multiculture, we got the sugar, multiculture, the banana, Multiculture the pineapple. I tell you what, I'll multiculture. This is more pineapple. We could switch this at some point. Um, oh, can I? After it's been built, change resource. Cocoa. There you go. Done. Cost three hundred bucks. That's okay. So this will be cocoa now. So I don't know what the range of the multiculture is, but hopefully that'll help fix the uh, fertility situation. And build a ranch. That's true too. So we can get some poop. Man, if this island's a shaken. Don't come uh, knocking. So cattle? How about a sheep ranch as well? Ew, not good. Crocodile? Pig, llama, goat? Who doesn't want crocodiles, though? Oh! Oh, resource depleted at this logging camp. Um, oh! Take and give. For every tree felled plant. Tree nursery. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, everything just keeps shaking. Raid complete rescue. Now, is it actually repeating? Well, it's going again, so I guess so. Pet crocodiles for your authentic moat. Nice! I love that idea. I don't know if we can get, like, crocodile leather to make cool shoes with or something. Oh my god, when is this earthquake gonna be, like... When's it gonna come to an end? Literacy program complete. So that was an edict. So we can run this, increase the efficiency of schools, does increase the upkeep, as but that's probably okay. Uh, we don't have a college yet. We have a fair amount of cash. Their immigration office, open doors, skilled workers, but we need to research for that first. Tropkins first, security controls. Um, we finished another contract. I think I'm just gonna keep going exports. Here, we can start exporting meat. We'll build some more ranches. 
Can we get one stuck in over here? Um, llama. I mean, I don't think that's going to be llama meat, of course. Although, maybe. 